Hey, Chris and Dan Show, welcome <laughs> back. This is part two. That's part two. Of the beef. We heard Machine Gun Kelly, thanks to our commenter, Andrew T. He said, I want to get Chris's take on a modern day rap battle between Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem. Chris knows both. And Chris doesn't necessarily like Eminem so much, but he's not close-minded either. And he's willing to see... And I'm this is I'm reacting to this first time as well. Eminem kill shot. It's the Machine Gun Kelly diss. I it says music video. So when did I don't this know come if it's out? a I don't uh 2018 it says. Okay. So yeah, like 3 4 years ago, right? That's what I said yeah. in the part 1. So I was about right. Yeah. Uh so here we go. We're going to get Chris's take on Eminem's response. And I just think Eminem's the best in the business at battle raps. Nobody wants to mess with him, so here we go. HB. Shut the fuck up. Your fans become your haters. You done? Beard, beard, beard. Right. yelling at the mic. Beard, beard. Doing this once. Who's beard. that dude? Oh, oh, oh. Who? That's Eminem. What? He had a beard. That's why Machine Gun Kelly said your beard's weird. Huh. And Eminem weird. keeps saying it here. I agree. It here. I and agree. he keeps saying it here sarcastically, too. So he look like Eminem. I remember Eminem with blonde hair. He doesn't have the beard anymore, I don't think. Okay. Bitch, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Your fans become your haters. You done? Beard, I would not beard. recognize right. him in a lineup. Beard, beard. Doing this you once. Rihanna just hit me on a text. Last night I left hickeys on her neck. Wait. You just dissed me? I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line? Compliment me wait, on the wait, next wait, wait, damn? Wait. I'm really confused. sorry you want... So who's the woman? Is that uh, Machine Gun Kelly's girlfriend, probably? No, he said Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. Okay. Because Machine Gun Kelly said, in the last this song, Eminem scared to ask Rihanna for her phone number. Okay, that so does not look like Eminem, but okay. We just need to get over that. People, he doesn't <laughs> actually have blonde hair. You know, that's Slim Shady. Okay. He's like, didn't come out the womb blonde hair, bleach blonde. Okay. He he came out like that's that. the only way I've known him. Not a beard though. Blonde not hair. a beard. Only not way beard. I've known him with blonde hair. I would not pick yeah. this dude out as uh, Eminem in News, the lineup. Newsflash: Machine Gun Kelly is probably not a lot beach bleach blonde either naturally. Um, okay. actually, yeah, it makes me wonder why he even has. He's a Eminem stan. I'll just say the like the yeah, Machine Gun Kelly's an Eminem stan. All right. Fair enough. All right, so he's the, already. I heard like twenty seconds. He already is doing rebuttals from MJK MGK's song where he said Eminem's afraid to ask Rihanna for her phone number and this and that. So he's already mentioned Rihanna. So this, this can be interesting. Even twenty seconds in, I already like this better than the other one as far hey, as I, like rap skills concerned. Fair enough. My apologies too for the dumb questions, but I don't know any of this stuff, so gotta ask. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's going to share a laugh with me when they think that you think Eminem's actually bleach blonde. Well, I surely didn't think he had a hair color like that. Well, that wait, wait, good. okay. Or uh, Hold on. Let me stop this to share. Chris, well, I need the answer. You actually thought that was Eminem's real hair color? Yeah. I had blonde hair at one time. No, no, no. Like, the way you know Eminem, you thought... That's his natural hair color. Well, usually usually guys do not color their hair. Just saying. Usually guys don't. Women are more known for this. All so, right. yes, I assumed at, at least he had blonde hair. Maybe not that color, but blonde hair. Oh, okay, you assume blonde. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Guys, um, let's get back to this battle. All right. Let's see. This is... Look, like I said, I already heard, only heard 15 seconds. I can already tell Eminem's going to win this battle. <laughs> All right. I can already tell. Uh, but let's get Chris, because Chris is the one. Andrew T doesn't give a shit about me. Oh, sorry for the cursing. He doesn't give a rat's ass about me. All okay. right. Well, I guess that's the Much cursing. better language. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Here we go. Here we go. The beach, beach. Shut the fuck up. Your fans become your haters. You done? Beard, your fans beard. become your haters. You doing this once. The the beard. Beard. Rihanna just hit me on a text. Last night I left hickeys on her neck. Wait, 
You just diss me, I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line, compliment me on the next. Damn, I'm really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. Was watching 8 Mile on my Nauta track. Realized I forgot to call you back. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on a starter cap. Stan, Stan, son, listen, man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That is funny. Eminem's got funny. the jabs out there. Come on, he's hilarious. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> you know and I'm messing with him. That's <laughs> funny and true. Yeah. <laughs> God, Machine Gun Kelly dig his own grave with that shovel. Wow. Stan, Stan, son, listen, man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? <laughs> Giants won't eyes open, undeniable supply and smoke. Got the fire stoke. Say you got me in a scope, but you grazed me. I say one call it in a scope, and you swayzy. Your reply got the crowd yelling, woo. So before you die, let's see who can out petty who with your corny lines. Slim your roll out, Kelly, ooh, but I'm 45 and I'm still out selling you. By 29, I had three albums that it blew. Now let's talk about something I don't really do. Go in someone's daughter's mouth, stealing food. But you're a fucking molehill. Now I'm gonna make a mountain out of you. Ho oh, chill, acting like you'll put the chrome barrel to my bone marrow. Gonna bitch you ain't a bow and arrow say you run up on me like a phone bill spraying lead playing dead that's the only time you hold still are you eating cereal or oatmeal what the fuck's in the bowl milk wheaties or cheerios because i'm taking a shit in them kelly i need reading material dictionary yo slim your last four albums suck go back to recovery oh shoot that was three albums ago what do you know oops know your facts before you come at me little goof luxury oh you broke bitch yeah i had enough money in oh two to burn it in front of you ho younger me no you don't whack me it's funny but so true i'd rather be 80 year old me than 20 year old you <laughs> tell him hitting old wow. age still can fill a whole page with a 10 year old wow all right that's that's a freaking bar right there wow and that's actually when he says that you gotta think he's right no he ain't there's uh, nobody with him <laughs> that wouldn't take that trade I don't know, because at that age, it's all about legacy, right? And Eminem's, what he's saying, the way I interpret it, when I'm 80, I already know my legacy's here to stay long after I'm gone. And for you, who the hell are you? you just a okay. blip on the radar here. Completely agree with your analogy of what he said there, but in reality, <laughs> if that offer were made, he, he's going to care less about his legacy and say, yeah, I'll take the next 60 years back. Yeah, but as MG, MGK? Yeah, absolutely he would. 100%. And then he would actually make MGK successful. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm enjoying this more than I should be. i never seen this. Can't believe it. But so true. I'd rather be 80-year-old me than 20-year-old you. Tell him hitting old age, still can fill a whole page with a 10 year old's rage. Got more fans than you in your own city, little kitty, go play. Feel like I'm babysitting Lil Tay. Got the ditty okay, so you stitch your whole day. Shooting a video just to fucking dig your own grave. Got you at your own way. Ah, you dig go. your own you grave. never made a list. Next to no Biggie, no J. Next to Taylor Swift and that Iggy Ho. You about to really blow Kelly. They'll be putting your name next to Chai, next to Benzino. Die, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying alien vein, alien brain. Satanist. My biggest flop, so your greatest hits. The game's mine again, and ain't nothing changed but the lock. So before I slay this bitch, I'm gonna uh, give Jade a kiss. Gotta wake up Labor Day to this. Being rich shamed by some prick using my name for clickbait in a state of bliss. Cause I said his goddamn name, now I gotta cock back aim. Yeah, bitch, pop champagne to this. It's your moment. This is it, as big as you're gonna get, so enjoy it. Had to give you a career to destroy it. Lethal injection, go to sleep six feet deep. Give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, you'd look up to me, and for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. <laughs> like a boss, like to get on my channel, give you a lot of right. This funny, man. This funny. He said, okay, he's taller than you, but still, you know. <laughs> this is funny, man. No, what do you I, think so far? So, I don't understand why um, rappers don't get canceled by the stuff they say. I really don't understand that. They're un He's uncancelable, man. Eminem's Come on. uncancelable. If that were like in any other type of music song, oh, you would be so canceled. But you know Eminem's been doing this since he started. Like They were trying to cancel him from the beginning. He slowed down a lot on his homophobic stuff. Well, that was hilarious, though. Come on. That was hilarious. Battle, this second. is what I'm telling you. For one this second. Is, this is what I'm telling you. You and everyone watching, Eminem 
All right, he may not have released like great albums ever, but this is what he does. He's a battle rapper. Mm. This this is his element. It's like getting into a three point contest with Steph Curry. Like you may th- be able to dunk, but you don't play him in his strength. He's the best sure. in the world. Sure. But MGK, you know, I guess he Eminem said it's for clickbaits, and it probably worked. <laughs> Yeah. Really worked. Yeah. Destroy it. Lethal injection, go to sleep six feet deep. I give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, you'd look up to me, and for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. Like a boss, like to get on my channel, give your life to be a solidified. Wow. This motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets, so we're good. Wow, as what's a- the wow? What, what did I miss? You caught a bar I missed? Yeah, lick a ball so you can be on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you caught a bar I missed. I was still thinking about the old one. <laughs> <laughs> lick a ball so I can get on my channel. Give your life to be a solidified. This motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets. So we're good as a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo. Had enough of this tatted up mama rapper. How the fucking him and I battle? He'll have to fuck him in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals because he knows long as I'm shady, he's going to have to live in my shadow. Exhausting, letting off on my offspring Like a gun barrel, bitch get off me You dance around it like a sombrero We can all see you're fucking salty Cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey Your red sweater, your black leather You dress better, I rap better That a death threater, a love letter Little white toothpick thinks it's over a pick I just don't like you prick, thanks for dissing me now I had an excuse on the mic to write Not a like, but really I don't care who's on the right But you're losing the fight you pick Who else want it? Kells, attempt, fails, button, L's, fucking nails In these coffins as soft as hot nail Kill shot, I will not fail, I'm with the doc still But this idiot's boss pops pills and tells him he's got skills But Kells, the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits That he put the hit out, they got pop kill, ah eh? I'm sick of you being whack and still using that motherfucking autotune So let's talk about it, let's talk about it I'm sick of your mumble rap mouth, need to get the cock about it Before we can even talk about it, talk about it I'm sick of your blonde hair and earrings Just cause you look in the mirror and think that you're Marshall Mathers, Marshall Mathers. Don't mean you are and you're not about it, so just leave my dick in your mouth and keep my daughter out of you. fucking. Wow. Oh. And I'm just playing, Diddy. You know I love you. I was gonna say, I was thinking you'd get upset <laughs> I'm at just that. Playing, Diddy. <laughs> I was thinking you'd get upset about that. Diddy does not want any smoke with this guy. Well, no, but he's saying he put out the hit on Tupac. Come yeah, on. no. That was kind of shocking. <laughs> I mean objectively i know we start doing politics on this show too and you say music subjective but as an objective like you're not a rap fan so to me eminem clearly won this but oh yeah without a doubt eminem won the battle but i think mgk like maybe won the war because he got he's still famous you know he's still relevant so it depends on what his goal was like you like you said in the previous video um Mm. his goal just may have been to shine light on himself via eminem right yeah and if that were the goal then yes he succeeded most likely right yeah i agree that's why i'm surprised eminem ever responded he he gets a response which everybody that's into raps probably watching eminem's response and like okay what the hell is this all about and i gotta go check out the other one (laughs) exactly (laughs) right yeah, I did it the other way. I saw MJK sure. and I didn't even want to watch the Eminem one. Sure. But, I mean, being that Eminem's way more popular, I assume, um, it would work that way. So, but yeah, Eminem's song is way more funny. Um, he has different styles, too. He switches it during the song. Well, it's just more entertaining, um, for at least it was to me. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm not an Eminem fan, but. <laughs> objectively speaking it was more entertaining and the flow was better too yeah in my opinion um and again, the punchline's better yeah and the rebuttals the rebuttals are hard to do in rap because you can't yeah. just write your own sh- random shit you respond to something the other guy said and still make it funny. sure sure um yeah i wasn't so much into that part of it um battle in- rappers no it's a little nuanced like Sure. No, I it's, get it. Yeah. You know, yeah, I get it. It's harder. It's harder to do. Certainly. Um, but just in general, the song was better. Yeah. Would uh, you buy either of them? <laughs> no. Um, but if I were going to buy one, it would be the M&M. 
Yeah. I liked it better. What's better, this this song or Tupac's Hit 'em Up? I don't recall Hit 'em Up. What's Those that? are the only two that we actually reacted to. The one where he says, you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. Oh. And then at the end, he just goes on a tirade to fuck you. And if you're yeah. down with that, this boy, was better. I remember it now. Okay. Yeah, this was better. All right. See, there you guys have it from a non-rap fan. He's this not is brainwashed, is like you guys say, by who's hot. He's objectively said Eminem basically well, destroyed him on this song, on this battle. I personally like humor. Uh more so than like violence and mm. I got to kill people. Mm. Um, and this by far had more humor, right? Yeah. Than the Tupac song or the MJ. MGK. Why do you think, and I don't know the answer. I'm asking you like for your opinion. What, why do you think Eminem responded? You think he was I don't actually know. I was, mad? I was going to ask that. Do you know what this originated from? No, but the comment, you know, the commenters, man, they, They'll write a book on it. <laughs> so let us know. What I would think, the only thing that would seem plausible would be there is a true beef between the two of them. Mm-hmm. Something happened, right? Something uh, happened because MGK said that Eminem called Sway, who's the host of the Sirius, F- Sirius XM rap channel, mm-hmm. uh, and told Sway, don't ever have this guy on your show. So... I don't know. Something happened, obviously, where Eminem's taking it out on him, even before this song. Right. So before either of the songs, something happened. Yeah. So then MGK felt obligated to come out with his song. And in turn, probably, again, stemming from what initiated, not necessarily the song. Yeah. Is why he responded. Would be my guess. And and on top of that, Eminem knows that this is elevating MGK. GK in his career, right. so he mentions it in his song. Yeah, he meant right? that's Eminem strategies. Like, if I mention it or if I make fun of myself first, I can't lose. And that's why he even said, "I'm old." Right. You're taller. Yeah. All that stuff. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Thank you, Andrew T, for the uh, change of pace here, and um, thank you, Chris, for giving your objective response. And um, anything else? Yeah, check out The Dirt if you haven't seen it. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Check out The Dirt, guys. Uh, <laughs> M- it is MGK. actually good. MGK it is, good. is it's the a good, main character. It's a good rockumentary, you know, like those kind of movies like NWA and um, or Straight yep. Outta Compton. Yep. And then uh, Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, Elton John. Those are good, good type of movies, and uh, Netflix has one with Motley Crue and MGK. Is the he plays Tommy Lee? Yep. Was yep. Tommy Lee tall? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like six three, six four. All right, so same Just like height. MGK. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Let us know in the comments. All the nerds are gonna come out and say, "Yo, Chris is absolutely right," but here's more detail. Or maybe MGK fans stands. Are gonna come out and say no, no, no. no. Yeah. So, so you without, guys let us know in the comments. So just to appease the MGK fans, without knowing either of them personally, just what I know of them, as just on a personal basis, if I were to say probably which one I would like more, it'd probably be MGK. Without actually, who would you want to have? Who would you want to have a beer with? Well, Eminem would have more interesting stories, but again, I don't think he's a reasonably good guy. I'm not sure yeah. MGK is either. So oh, you're just having a beer. Who you got? You have to pick one. I don't know. I'll play MGK. <laughs> okay. I'd pick Eminem easy. Uh, easy sure, of course easy. you would. Most people probably would. <laughs> I just don't like the guy, at least what I know of him. Yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. Like, subscribe, comment, share, guys. Catch y'all later. Bye bye.